My name is Adriel Blaza. Um, I'm a research associate, and um, we are at the uh, Latois lab at UCSF. Um, so my research in general studies um, neuroplasticity, um, and we study a specific set of neurons that um, uh, respond to environmental stress. There's been some studies uh, with a model organism that we use um, because we use a, a model organism that has um, a really characterized nervous system. So the uh, model organism that we study is Cena rhabdatus elegans, which is a, a nematode. It's a, a type of roundworm, and in order to um, keep these animals in the lab, what we do is we place them on these petri dishes with, with agar that has uh, nutrients that mimic the soil, and we also place the dishes with with bacteria which is their food source diseases include you know Alzheimer's disease um, uh, uncovering you know uh, the the motor neurons and how it could uh, <clears throat> relate to a really characterized nervous system um, I grew up in the East Bay area um, in actually Antioch California when I went to college, I went to the University of uh, California, Riverside, and um, I graduated with a biological science degree with a concentration in medical biology. My next aspiration was to, to go to medical school. Um, when I went to Riverside, I actually um, became inclined in, into research. Um, it was one of my microbiology classes where a teacher had an opening position in their lab to be just like a lab assistant, and that's what kind of um, hit me um, I realized how research and how science is you know the basis of what we know in in all areas of life so um, especially in, in health and in medicine um, research is definitely the foundation definitely have to maintain our our model organisms for us it's important to uh, be able to study them under the microscope the microscope is is a very important equipment for us um, we're on it every day uh, for hours at a time to check our organisms to make sure that they're they're growing well and living well and if not then we have to probably change their plates uh, give them different nu nutrients and different food for them to um, to, to prosper in the lab. With science, what I've learned, especially during my, my thesis project, <laughs> I uh, learned that there's a lot of trial and error. I, I realized that, you know, that's actually a good thing. You could really learn a lot, and that's, that's what's great about science is that um, sometimes your experiments don't work out, and um, uh, the best way or best outlook to, to go about it is actually learning why, why it didn't work and, and sometimes you'll actually discover um, new ideas and new ways of thinking and kind of change your whole project around. For me the best thing that I feel when I come into lab and especially for research is that it's continuous and also you get to move on to the next step. You do ex these experiments that may either take a day or a whole week or even a whole month but you come in and you're able to move on to the next step and, and carry on with my project. And, and maybe that day it might not work, but you still are moving forward because you could figure out why it didn't. And that's what definitely excites me um, when I come into lab.